What's up guys, my name is Brandon and this is the brand new 13 inch M4 MacBook Air and this is the new 15 inch M4 MacBook Air and in this video we're going to unbox both of these MacBooks. We're going to compare the 13 and 15 inch sizes, compare the performance to previous models and give my overall first impressions on whether or not I think these are worth buying. Okay so let's start with the 13 inch M4 MacBook Air in the brand new sky blue color. So we have a new sky blue color. I am going to compare that to the silver because it does look like silver from every everything I've seen in a lot of different lighting situations. We'll talk about that in a moment. Now, a big deal with the M4 MacBook Air is that we got a price reduction this year. So the 13 inch model is going to be $999 and the 15 inch model is going to be $1199. And that's with an upgraded M4 chip and double the RAM. So we now have 16 gigs of RAM starting. So when the M3 first came out, it did not have 16 gigs. It did later on down the road, but when it first launched, it had eight gigs gigs of RAM. So that is good to see. And we're still sticking with the 256 gigs of SSD storage. Now you can also spec these MacBook Airs up to 32 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of storage. And if you did max those out, it would be $2,199 for the 13 inch model and $2,399 for the 15 inch model, which in my opinion, if you upgrade both the storage and the RAM, you might as well just go ahead and get a base M4 Pro MacBook Pro for $1,999. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this new color for the M4 13 inch MacBook Air. Let's go ahead and peel the tabs. Let's see what that first look of sky blue looks like. So just looking through the paper, you can't really tell that it's blue. It just looks like a, I guess you can see a little bit of a blue hint there, but it really looks silver for the most part. So we'll look at that in a moment. Now you can see that we do have a color matching braided MagSafe cable here. So we do have our charger and it is color coordinated. So it's a kind of a really faint blue, kind of a, a gray blue here. You can really see the blue on this part right here. Now also inside we do have our paperwork, which I'm assuming there are no Apple stickers, no Apple stickers. And then we do have our charging ports right here. So the 13 inch model comes with a 30 watt USB-C power adapter, whereas the 15 inch comes with a 35 watt dual USB-C block. Now it is $20 extra for the 13 inch model if you do want that dual USB-C block, unless you spec it up to 512 gigs of storage. Now when you do spec up the 13 inch model to more storage or more RAM for an extra $200, you also get two additional GPU cores that the 15 inch model comes standard with. And you can also choose the 70 watt USB-C power adapter for free on the 15 inch model and the spec'd up 13 inch model. All right, so let's take a look at the sky blue color for the first time here. So let's go ahead and peel off the paperwork. And yeah, you can start to see the blue a little bit here. So it may be kind of hard when I'm in the studio to see the blue hue. I will show this in other lighting as well, but let's go ahead and take this paper off. There is the sky blue color. Very nice. I like this. It's very subtle. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this 13 inch model. We see our paperwork right here or our paper rather on our screen. Let's go ahead and take that off. And oh man, just looking at this keyboard, I really like the contrast between the black and the blue. It really shows up more than like the outer shell of the MacBook Air does. You can really see that blue more when you look at the keyboard and at the trackpad. And by the way, both the M2 and M3 models have been discontinued. So those are not sold by Apple anymore. You do have to go to the M4 if you want a MacBook Air. And by the way, if you look closely, you will see that we have a design change on the M4 MacBook Air's keyboard, and that is for the mute key. So the mute key now has a slash through the speaker glyph icon. So that is something that we've not seen on previous MacBooks, but that is a slight change there to the keyboard key. All right, so we've seen the sky blue. Now let's go ahead and unbox the 15 inch model in silver to see just how silver this sky blue actually is compared to the actual silver. And of course the box is much larger for the 15 inch model. It feels a lot more like a MacBook Pro. You can see our specs here for the 15 inch MacBook Air. We got the base model once again with 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Let's go ahead and take these peel tabs off. And here is the silver MacBook Air. Man, every time I pick up the 15 inch after holding the 13 inch, I can feel just such a massive difference in the weight. It's really not like on paper a massive difference, but you can feel it. So the 13 inch weighs 2.7 pounds. The 15 inch weighs 3.3 pounds. So basically the 13 inch weighs the same as the previous model, the M3 model, and it's slightly lighter than the M1 MacBook Air from 2020. Meanwhile, the 15 inch model is also the same weight as the M3, and it's also slightly lighter than the M4 MacBook Pro 
14 inch. So here is the color comparison of the silver and the sky blue color. So you can really see the difference. It's, you know, it's not as silver as it looked like in the Apple store. It looked a lot more silver in the Apple store. So it is going to depend a lot more on your lighting conditions. I'm sure outside when it's, you know, getting dark, maybe at sunset, you'll see a lot more of a blue hue, but during the, you know, intense sun, it may look more like a silver. You could see what these look like side by side. Now, taking a look at the design on the side, we do have two Thunderbolt 4 ports this time. So last year, these were Thunderbolt 3, so a nice minor improvement there in the USB-C ports. And then, of course, we have our MagSafe 3 charging port right there. And then if we flip it over to the right-hand side, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then we have the same Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E support that we saw last year with the M3 models. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up both of these MacBook Airs, but I do want to spend a little bit more time talking about the M4 MacBook Air and also the difference between the 15 inch and the 13 inch size here. So the 13 inch model has a 13.6 inch liquid retina display, whereas the 15 inch model has a 15.3 inch liquid retina display. And they both have the same 500 nits of peak brightness along with the P3 wide color gamut and true tone, but we do not have the ProMotion display. That's going to be only for the MacBook Pro. Now we do also have a big upgrade from the M3 MacBook Air, and that is related to external display support. So now with the M4 MacBook Air, you have support for not only two external displays, but you can now use your MacBook Air as a display as well. So with the M3 MacBook Air, you could have dual monitor support, but you had to be in clamshell mode, which meant that your MacBook had to be closed. But now with the M4, you could keep your MacBook screen and you can use that screen along with two additional screens that are hooked up to external displays. Now, as for the speakers, the 13 inch model has a four speaker sound system, whereas the 15 inch model has a six speaker sound system with force canceling woofer. So bass is going to sound better and just sound in general is going to sound better on the 15 inch model but that's not the only thing new here with the m4 macbook air because we also have a new webcam so we finally have the upgraded 12 megapixel camera on the front with support for center stage and desk view so this is a big upgrade from the 1080p facetime hd camera on the m3 macbook air from last year okay so we are doing a test on the m4 macbook air compared to the m3 macbook air we're trying to see how much better that 12 megapixel webcam actually is compared to the 1080p webcam on the M3 MacBook Air. Now we do have center stage as well on the M4 MacBook Air, which is really nice, especially for FaceTime and you know video calls. I think it's a must have feature and you only get that on the M4. So take a look at this. We have a day one software update for both the 13 inch and 15 inch models. However, the version is different. So for the 13 inch model, it says to upgrade to 15.3.2. And then on the 15 inch model, it says to update to macOS 15.3. So interesting, two different version numbers there to update to. I'm just going to click on update later so we can get through the setup process. Okay, so now let's talk about the performance. So I downloaded some of my benchmark tools and I ran some tests here to see how the M4 compares to maybe the M3 MacBook Air. Now, one thing you want to note is that the M4 MacBook Air has 120 gigs a second of memory bandwidth versus 100 gigs a second on the M3. We do also have hardware accelerated ray tracing if you like to game, which is nice. The M2 model and before did not have this. So the M3 and the M4 both have that hardware accelerated ray tracing. Now, I did run a Geekbench test here and you can see what we scored on both the 13 inch and on the 15 inch model here. So we scored a 35, 85 on single core 14581 on multi core for the 13 inch model. And then you can see over here for the GPU test, we scored a 30,424. And you can see that we have a nice improvement over the M3 model. So we scored a 3,026 on the single core on M3, and then a 11414 on multi core on M3 versus 14581 here on M4. Now we did also run the multi core Cinebench R23 test, and we scored a 10,952, and we scored a 10663 on the 15 inch. So that is also a decent bit better than M3. On the M3, we scored 8415. Now I did also want to do a disk speed test here. So we're going to keep this on the five gigs for the stress test. We're going to go ahead and start. Now on the M3 MacBook Air, we scored around a 1500 on the right and around a 2600 on the read. So you can see slightly higher here with M4. It's not going to be a crazy difference, but you can see some minor improvements there in the disk speed test as 
well. Now, as far as heat and thermal throttling, I didn't notice any type of thermal throttling when I was messing around with both of these machines, but you know, these are also fanless machines. So the MacBook Air is completely fanless. There's not a fan inside like you have on the MacBook Pro. So it's not gonna be as noisy as the MacBook Pro, which is awesome. That's why uh, one of the big reasons I love the MacBook Air, it never makes any noise. And it also does not typically get very hot. So, you know, I, I think the 13 inch is a little bit hotter than the 15 inch, likely just because there's more room to move around in the 15 inch frame here, but neither one of them are really that hot whatsoever. So overall, my first impressions of the M4 MacBook Air are great. I mean, I think that if you have an M1 series or older, now is the no brainer time to go ahead and upgrade. Like you get more RAM, you have better support for external displays where you can keep your device open and you don't have to be in clamshell mode. You have faster Wi-Fi speeds, you have speed and battery improvements and a cheaper price tag. Now, if you have the M2 or the M3 MacBook Air, I do actually think this is still a solid upgrade with that 16 gigs of RAM with the new sky blue color, which I love. You have the external display improvement. Once again, you also have the better webcam. Keep in mind that 12 megapixel webcam does actually make a difference. And once again, the cheaper price. Again, this starts at $999. So you get improvements across the board and a cheaper price. That is amazing. Now, I did also want to answer the question of should you buy the 13 inch or the 15 inch M4 MacBook Air? Now, I think the 15 inch model is going to be great if you use creative applications like Photoshop, Lightroom, Final Cut, Blender. If you use you know, your device for something creative, then the bigger display is going to get you, you know, obviously more display real estate for your projects. And of course you do have the much bigger trackpad here as well, which can be beneficial when you're editing photos or, you know, just dragging along the trackpad. So I do think the 15 inch model is great if you are into creative applications, or if you just watch a lot of TV or movies on your MacBook, you know, obviously that bigger screen is going to make a pretty big difference when watching movies or TV shows. And also these speakers are much better on the 15 inch. So if you're mainly, you know, getting this for media consumption, I think 15 inch is the way to go. Meanwhile, I think the 13 inch model is going to be best for the majority of people. So I think the 13 inch model is perfect because it's super light. It's super small. It doesn't take up a ton of room, you know, whether you have it on a plane, whether you just have it in your lap and you're typing while you're outside in a coffee shop, whatever the case may be, the 13 inch model is just so light and so small. It's just awesome for a MacBook Air. And don't get it twisted. The 13 inch screen screen size is still plenty big if you use creative applications. I just think 15 inch is better mainly for, you know, multimedia and those creative apps, but still everything works just fine on the 13 inch model. So I'm personally going to plan on keeping the 13 inch model just because I do have a 14 inch MacBook Pro and I don't really need a bigger MacBook Air. I like my MacBook Air to be small and light. That's what it was basically made for. But if you're trying to decide between the two and you're thinking about performance or battery life or things like that, you don't need to because there's no difference. The performance and the battery life is going to be pretty much the same on both of these machines. So really just take into account the speakers, the bigger display, of course, the bigger trackpad, and that's about it. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is the 13 inch and the 15 inch M4 MacBook Air. I think this is a great upgrade for a lot of people and especially at that cheaper $999 price tag. And also the sky blue color is pretty awesome. I think a lot of people are going to be a fan of that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future M4 MacBook Air videos. I will have my review coming at a later date. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.